I haven't had heels on since before quarantine, so I gotta figure out how to walk again. Well, that's the thing, Chandra. Thank you so much for being here in person, because I hear this is your first in-person interview exactly. in a minute, right? Exactly. This is my coming out party. <laughs> Wow. This is it, because you know, I mean, everybody, you know, with like, bless y'all's heart, you're here, everybody's, you know, getting out, trying to do, and I'm a little, I'm hesitant. I'm feeling like, hold on, do I really have to go outside? But I'm, I'm glad I came, because I did, um, I, I did GMA to right. promote the season, right. and all COVID, all quarantine, I went through the whole thing with the Zoom and the Skype and the, the and so my, my Good Morning America kind of went like that. They showed the, the clip, you right. know? And then it was like, Chandra Wilson, oh my goodness, tell me about season 18. And I said, well. You froze, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> and that was my GMA. <laughs> it was okay. like, we'll have to get them back later. So I was like, okay, yeah, I'll come in. Nothing like being in <laughs> Everybody here is cool too. And we're all cool right here. Yeah, C yeah. Congratulations, my God. It's gotta be one of the longest running shows now ever. 18th season. Very, very cool. Grey's Anatomy. Yeah. You know what's a trip, Chandra? Is I, 18 seasons, and I know a lot of young teenagers that watch it now too. Yeah. It's fascinating now that it's been able to be streamed. It's like this whole new audience gets we're to fall in love with it, right? That's what we are. No, no but, but it is. It's like the, the show. you know, kids found us, and then so they start watching, and then the parents hop back in and go, "Oh, are you at the part? Oh, okay, wait till you get to that part. Oh, oh, don't get too attached, you know, like that. Yeah, yeah. And then you know they all like start cycling together. So I thank you guys so much for that. That's awesome. You know? <laughs> and the, the episode that airs tonight yes. will be the 22nd one you've directed. Yes, it will be. Wow. <laughs> I, I couldn't believe this when I, when I heard about this, that you actually had a night job your first season of Grey's Anatomy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you were double dip. Tell me about that. Do, well, I mean, um, as a, as a you know, an actor, a working actor out there in, um, in New York, you're used to having your bread and butter. My bread and butter was my... Um, uh, jo job in the document processing department at Bankers Trust at the time before it became um, Deutsche Bank. It was long-term temp, and it was perfect because it was overnight, and it, you know, I could still audition and work during the yeah. day and, you know, make the high-end money because I was an operator back in the day. You know, <laughs> I knew how to do Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. Okay. okay, that's a real job. I know, the babies come out knowing how to do that now, but back <laughs> then, right. that was the, you know, um, but that's great because you had guarded optimism because this business is so fickle. You never know, I right? Had, you didn't know it was going to be 18 seasons. You, don't ever put all your eggs in one basket, especially when they call you out here to L.A. because the jobs don't last. That's and I right. had gone through a series before that we only got like six or seven episodes on before we yeah. were canceled. So I, it was in season two when I came back to do it. And what, as a long-term temp, you just check in, like, you know, to, to check in for your availability. Right. And so all season one, I just kept checking in, saying, oh, I'm not available this weekend. I'm not available this weekend. So when we got to season two, my supervisor said, will you stop calling and telling us that yeah. you're not available? Because we see you on TV. Yeah. So why are you telling us I love that, that you're not available? So basically, they had to kind of force me out. I hear you're a huge soap opera fan. Always a fan. And you got to fulfill a dream of being on your favorite soap. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Which one is that? So now what's left is um, Young, the Restless, and General Hospital that okay. I watched, that I've been watching since I was, I don't, since I had eyes, I guess. Really? And, That's um, okay. Yeah. So General Hospital is on our lot. And so uh, Frank Ballantini, bless his heart, he humors me and he calls me every now and then to come in and play on General. So every time I go, I'm a different character. That's so awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. Let's go over there and play. Um, and then, because I was supposed to go back and do the nurses' ball again. Oh, last I did year. the nurses' then, ball. See, you gotta do the nurses' ball. I, I did. My, my mother in law's a huge fan, so I was like, okay, I'll do it. You gotta What's do a nurses' that? ball? <laughs> I know, but you show up for them. Yeah. So, yeah, that's what I did. I was thinking about my mother. When Good for I, you. I love <laughs> it. I love it. Well, listen, I want you to stick around because we're gonna play a little game uh -oh. after this, okay? Uh oh. Uh -oh. So stay with us right here. We're gonna have some more with Sean Wilson. <laughs>